I think that's on me. Guys, we got another great comedian coming to the stage. Put your hands together. More together. Continue over and over and over. Give it up, guys, for Glenn Cohen. Thank you. Oh, I, I love doing shows in this room. I really do. I mean, I, I've had such great sets down here. Uh, love working with the people here. Evan, Daryl, Brooke, Gregory. You're like the nicest guy to me out of anybody. Uh, and uh, no, I mean, I, I just really feel the love from the audiences here. Uh, actually, I think they're in awe. I mean, I do my entire three-hour routine. You don't hear a peep out of anyone. <laughs> I am feeling the love. <laughs> Oh, wow. Uh, this last week uh, it was gay pride, uh, gay marriage equality. Uh, years ago, one of my very first shows was uh, done at a gay club. And I didn't even realize I was in one until I went to the men's room. Yeah, uh, it was the only time I'd ever seen a urinal where you had to bend over to use it. <laughs> uh, that was kind of shocking. Uh, oh, I'm, I, I am so thankful for gay people. Uh, in high school, uh, they were the only kids I could beat up. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, the first time I had a dick up my ass, I, I said, that guy is totally gay. <laughs> oh, unbelievable. Uh, People seem shocked uh, about Bruce Jenner becoming Caitlyn. You know, uh, six months ago, I knew he had completed his transformation into becoming a woman when he started to drive like one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, hey, uh, the government is uh, asking people uh, to recommend a female to replace Alexander Hamilton on the $10 bill. Uh, the only qualification is that the woman has to be dead. Uh, so I'm voting for Hillary. <laughs> yeah, I, I posted that on the internet and I had to take it down. Uh, I got a phone call from the Secret Service. I said, it's a joke. I'm a comedian. It's only a joke. I would never, ever vote for Hillary. <laughs> and they're like, all righty then. Uh, a friend of mine uh, moved into Weehawken. Uh, he moved across the street from where Aaron Burr killed Alexander Hamilton. Yeah, I was like, wow. Even back then it was a dangerous neighborhood. <laughs> Man, I've been doing this so long, I actually have Alexander Hamilton jokes. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. I would love to buy you a joint. Oh, really? Uh, I mean, but look, I can do the short math here. Uh, I'm old enough to be my own father. <laughs> uh, and besides, I've, I've stopped dating young women with daddy issues. I've matured beyond that, finally. Uh, now I date young women with granddaddy issues. <laughs> yeah, uh, you got to be very, very careful what you wish for. Uh, all I dream of is large, ample breasts, and now I'm growing my own. <laughs> yeah. Uh, speaking of big boobs, uh, Donald Trump. <laughs> That's the punchline. <laughs> I got nothing else on that. Uh, my name is Glenn Cohen. Uh, if you meet somebody named O'Brien, uh, you know they're Irish. Uh, if you meet somebody named Cohen, uh, you know they're Jewish. Uh, I looked it up in the dictionary two days ago. Cohen is the Hebrew word for O'Brien. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, horrible news. Uh, my the delivery guy from my favorite Chinese restaurant murdered a guy two buildings over from me. Yeah. So now I just do takeout. <laughs> uh, I moved to New York. 
1983 into Hell's Kitchen. Uh, the same time crack did. <laughs> Back then I was afraid to walk through the neighborhood. Now I can't afford to. Uh, I mean, uh, the Broadway, 42nd Street was just like the 42nd Street of Forrest Gump. It was like porno theater, porno theater, 24-hour massage. That's a long massage. <laughs> uh, people in fancier neighborhoods have signs like, if you lived here, you'd be home now. Guy across the street from me put up a sign, if you lived here, you'd be dead now. Uh, back then, it was easier to get an assault rifle than it was to find an apartment. So I got an assault rifle. I had no trouble finding an apartment. <laughs> Yeah, I got a right to carry. Uh, but, uh, gosh, my apartment is so old. I mean, I have a problem with cockroaches. I mean, the cockroaches have been in my apartment so long, their names are on the mailbox. <laughs> you know you got a cockroach problem when you sneak into your kitchen in the middle of the night, flick on the light, and they flick it off. <laughs> Oh, I, I got one of those roach motels. I was trying to figure out what actually makes them go inside of it. It, it was a scale model of my apartment. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, you know, leave you with a quick thing. Uh, I, I recently went on a gambling trip down to Atlantic City. And, uh, gosh, when I was down there, I had sex with a prostitute. And I didn't use a condom. I figured, what the hell? I came down here to gamble. <laughs> Thank you. I've been Thank you, everybody.